A skilled video editor can edit a full video in a matter of hours, while a beginner can take days or even weeks to do a remotely similar job. And it usually takes a bit of nerves. Of course, skill is important in this matter, but it is also useful to know a few important life hacks that save time and nerves. In today's video that I learned over the years of working with video production, some of them will be more obvious, while others not so much, so let's get started. Any proper editing starts with the pre-production, such things as your approach to writing a script, planning the shooting, and so on, have a tremendous effect on the editing and the final product. In other words, the better you plan everything, the easier it will be for you to edit the video. From personal experience, I know that it's always better to shoot as much material as possible. Then there will always be something to choose from during editing. And by the way, if you have the opportunity to shoot with multiple cameras, be sure to do so. Multiple angles give you more flexibility in editing and make the video more dynamic, more professional. Even if you're editing a video that consists of a bunch of separate, unrelated shots, shots, you will still need some anchors and reference points, which are very important to take care of before you start editing. Otherwise, the video will fall apart and you will spend a lot of time trying to put together something meaningful. As I always say, the script, shooting and editing are the holy trinity that makes a good video. Never forget that. It will save you a lot of time and effort. Another way to speed up the editing and make it more convenient is to learn how to use keyboard shortcuts. And I'm sure you already know the most popular ones, Control c to copy, Control e to paste, Control x to cut, and Control z to undo. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. In fact, many editing programs have entire lists of hotkeys. Of course, you don't have to learn all the shortcuts, but try to at least master five to seven of the most relevant ones for you. For example, to see a list of keyboard shortcuts in Movavi Video Editor, you need to open the Help menu and select Keyboard Shortcuts. There are separate key combos for a variety of things, add a freeze frame open a new project, move selected clips to the right or left, etc. If you often do the same thing over and over again, it makes sense to learn a shortcut for it. And by the way, you can always set your own shortcuts. Trust me, you will get used to them really quickly. And if you want to create videos fast and without stressing out, be sure to try Movavi Video Editor, which is a part of the Movavi Unlimited. Movavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with large, unwieldy footage shot on your phone, Movavi has you covered. With its easy to use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor, that lets you get creative with video thumbnails. You can crop, resize, apply filters and add text, stickers and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you're tired of the struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Movavi Unlimited a try. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up. An 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off. So don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. But our list of tricks doesn't end here because now we should talk about working with audio. Good music and sound effects can make your video 10 times better and more engaging, but finding such music and effects always takes a lot of time. So to save time instead of wasting it, I advise you to create a personal library of music and sound effects in advance. Each video creator has their own musical taste and each channel has its own style. So it is very useful to create such a selection of tracks and effects. Your library will grow over time. So each time you start editing a new video, you won't have to spend any time in finding the music. The easiest way to find music that you can use in your videos without any copyright claims is to use YouTube's music library. You can find it in your YouTube studio and yes, sometimes the quality of the music in these tracks leaves much to be desired, but you can find real gems there. In addition, YouTube constantly uploads new tracks, so keep an eye out. Another way to replenish your music library is by scouting tracks on YouTube channels that specialize in it. There are a couple options to choose from. One, no copyright music. Here you will find a variety of tracks of various genres, ambient, funk, jazz, hip hop, and so on. All of those tracks can be used in your videos without the risk of copyright infringement. The next option is free music for vlogs. This channel offers free music specially suited for vlogs and various other types of content. And there's also vlog, no copyright music. This channel also specializes in copyright free music. There are a lot of fun songs there
there that are perfect for vlogs, action videos, and travel videos. And by the way, the Movavi editor also has a built-in library with hundreds of tracks and sound effects. So be sure to check it out. Also, if you decide to follow this advice and create a music library, it would be a good idea to sort all the tracks that you have saved into different folders by mood, by genre or style, by length or something else. It's totally up to you. Organize them however you want. Experimenting with editing in each new video is of course a great way to improve your skills, but it usually is quite time and resource intensive. So instead of creating all the little pieces of your video from scratch, do not hesitate to use ready-made effects, animations. Trust me, creating a good animation takes a couple minutes and it's fine if you only have a couple of them, but if your video is full of them, them, it's always better to just use the ones that already exist. Transitions, color grading, LUTs, animated text, overlay effects, you can find everything. For example, on forums, and if you use the Movavi video editor, then you can find everything in the built-in effects store. Another thing that has greatly simplified my editing back in the day is getting things in order. A cluttered desktop, messy folders, and a full disk create all this unnecessary fuss that eats up precious hours. As a result, a lot of time gets lost, searching for the necessary files, organizing everything and so on. Yes, it may seem to you that tidying up your computer is unnecessary work. Believe me, it's not. When your project fills up with footage, music effects and other things, it becomes more and more difficult for you to work efficiently. Make sure to optimize your virtual workspace to make the editing as convenient as possible. At the same time, if you can, always keep an SSD drive ready. You will need it to dump there any draft files or additional materials, store finished projects or that music library from earlier. This way you will not only be more organized and productive, but also save some space on your editing rig. The final editing trick that you have to learn as soon as possible is fighting procrastination. Just think about it. Every time you need to edit something, you convince yourself to start and that step of convincing yourself is a true creativity killer. You lose the spark in your eyes and instead of creating something magnificent, just watch one video after another. If you recognize yourself in my description, then you absolutely absolutely have to learn the draw technique. Originally, it was created by writers for writers, but the same principles also apply to editing. In draw, each letter stands for something. D, decluttering, set the timer for five minutes and diligently clean up your desk, both in your PC and in real life. R, reading, as I said, it was created for writers. So instead of reading, you can watch tutorial videos or something that inspires you. A, assessment. Take five minutes to analyze what you have already shot or edited. Edited. This helps to relieve the feeling of not knowing where to start. Once you know what's already done, it's much easier to decide on your next steps. W, writing. In our case, once again, we're gonna replace it with editing. Set your timer to 20, 30 minutes and get to work. By this point, you should be already warmed up, so doing the first cut will be very, very easy. Be sure to try this technique and share the results in the comments. Video editing requires not only technical skills, but also creative thinking. All the tricks that I have learned over the years and which I shared today have really made my workflow faster, more efficient, and much more pleasant. I hope you learned something new today and that my advice will help you get better at editing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.